What's going on guys? Today I'll be showing you some whammy bar tricks on the guitar here. We'll just do my top five favorites. So, real hope you enjoy it. Um, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, ding, 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 And, you know, just have some fun with these. Practice them, and your friends will really enjoy it. And maybe you can piss off a neighbor or two. And if you don't have a whammy bar, that's okay. You just really need one. So, anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so, we'll just start off with the classic whammy dive. At number five. Remember, these are my top five favorites. So, we'll start with just the basic whammy dive. Even Lil Wayne, Nick Jonas... And Camilla Cabello can do this one. Of course, this is made popular by Eddie Van Halen. I know you ca guys can't see the poster. Um, I'll show you guys at the end of the video. Um, so I know you guys can't really see the poster, but still, the classic whammy dive was made popular by Eddie Van Halen. And it sounds something like this. It's really easy. we've got the class the other classic natural harmonic dive but it's more widely known as the dive bomb all you need to do is just find yourself a natural harmonic let's say i'm gonna do um seventh fret on the b it's that simple just find yourself a, pi a pinch just find yourself a natural harmonic. Just just pick any one of the three natural harmonics. And you got yourself. And just use that have some fun with that Floyd Rose system. If if you have a just have some fun with that Floyd Rose system if we got one. Have some fun with that whammy bar. Come on. Have some fun. If you do it enough, you can make it kind of sound like a police siren. Sorry for the feedback. Alright, next up at number three. We've got the pinch dive, which you just find yourself a pinch harmonic and you use the whammy bar. So it's very simple. Let's say I'll just do open B string. I know I'm not going to be doing the pinch harmonic correctly, but beginners try it this way. If you don't know, and if you don't know what a pinch harmonic is, a pinch harmonic is on the guitar when you pinch a note. So like, let's say I want to play the, the open. B string, but I kind of want to make that, um, you know, it's simple, just find the pinch harmonic, and beginners, if you want to learn how to do it, see, watch this, I usually use my middle finger, sorry I didn't mean to flip you off there, uh, not intentionally, so just find yourself the pinch harmonic, simple, find whatever note you want to play, make it a pinch harmonic just by tapping it lightly. Not completely muting it though. So you may need so you're gonna need to practice that for all beginners. So it'll sound like this. If I want to do the open B string. Oh I think that was about it. Sorry. Sorry. Or something like that. It's really easy. And then once you do that, just have some fun with the whammy bar. Just have some fun with the whammy bar. It's a little too tight, guys. So yeah, just do that. Have some fun with the whammy bar, always. And the cool thing with this, just like the previous one, you can also make it sound like a police siren. It's really cool. All right, next up at number two, we've got the classic horse sound. How to make your guitar sound like a horse on steroids. It's really fun, guys. Trust me. It was, in, it was created by Eddie Van Halen. If you watch the documentary of the band backstage before they performed live in 1986, MTV recorded a documentary. And at one point, the guys were goofing around. So much they were trying to make their trying to make animal noises, and Eddie 
made the elephant, which we will get to later. But he also did the horse. The horse sounds something like this. Sorry, it may take a couple of attempts. Excuse me. I'm sorry if it does. Yeah, my bad. Alright, so how to do the harmonic? Um, there are two ways how to do the horse sound. So, it's always on the second or third fret. Bend a full step on the second or third fret of the G or B string. Doesn't matter which fret, you'll end up getting the same sound. Except, just on the second fret, it's a little lower. I think what Eddie does in the actual documentary, he does it on the B string of the third fret, which is how I do it. I feel most comfortable doing it like that. So, if I were to do that, it would get me to sound like this. It's really fun. Have some fun with the Floyd, and if you have a Floyd Rose, if you have a Floyd Rose, and just have some fun with it. Like, oh, have some fun with the Floyd Rose system. It's really cool, and it's really fun to do. Now, before we get to number one, I just want to say I got, I actually didn't get this video from a family member. I got it from my friend who doesn't know anything about guitar. His name is Matthew, and I promised to shout him out on my YouTube channel. So, big shout out to Matthew Mason for helping me do this video. Um, so, just big shout out to my bud. Buddy, if you're watching, thank you for recommending this video. All right, now, number one, we've got the elephant. Yes, you guys have been waiting, I'm sure, all video for this. But it's finally here. All right, now, the elephant is a little more complicated than the horse. But once you do it correctly, and but with some practice and doing it correctly, it will sound amazing. Now... It's kind of confusing, how do I say it, like confusing at first, but, well, that how, that's what how it was for me. But, so what you want to do, have your whammy bar ready at all times. Turn your volume, well, for me it says tone, but I've only got one. And for the tone, I'm, if you have an EVH guitar, turn that tone all the way down. If you have any other guitar, just turn down the volume all the way. Zero. Needs to sound acoustic. All right, now what you want to do is play the three natural harmonics. And if you don't know what those are, those are the fifth fret of the G string. Kind of sounds like this. Seventh fret of the B. And then twelfth fret of the high E. Thing is, you can't do, you have, and just put those together. It'll sound like this if you do it correctly. Hold on. Dang it. Oh, sorry. See, I have trouble with this even today. It'll sound something like that. Um, if you want to break the limits, um, have some fun with the whammy bar. But yeah, you can't do these harmonics slow either, so you can't go like... Because you'll end up with that lame, boring, you know, that lame, boring whammy bar sound. No one wants that. So... You gotta do these fast, and you gotta make sure that you do not mute the other harmonics. Or else then you don't really have the elephant sound. And you can't do it slow, because then the harmonics will soon die out. So, it takes practice with this one, but you get, you'll get it. Took me about a year to do this. 
So just so you guys are not like, oh, I can't do this. Don't worry, it took me a year, and I nearly gave up on it. But I kept practicing and practicing, and I got there. And I got to this. Dang it, I muted the strings. Alright, but you get the picture. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. Try these whammy bar tricks. They're really fun. I mean, who knows? You could use these while writing a song or throw it in a performance that you're doing for your family or friends. It's really fun. Practice these tricks, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, like and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Also, I have an Instagram. Go to... <laughs> Go to Van Halen underscore 72. Follow my, follow my account. I have a Snapchat. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, also, comment down below who is your favorite guitarist. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.